Bones working at my lab bench. Late one night, you see, I got to make reactions for my class of chemistry. Just right then, my pika began to get real hot. I stuck in a big sensor and said, hey, what you got? The temperature kept rising and I began to fret. I don't want my experiment to explode and get me wet. So I looked up this reaction to see what made it sick. Turns out that it is right, okay, cause it's exothermic. Energy in bonds gets lost and sent out to be free. Turns out this puppy got lost in potential energy. So how will I ever calculate this quantity called Q? Here is the equation and I leave it up to you. MC delta T. I said MC delta T. MC delta T. Uh, that's calorimetry, yo. <laughs> that's right, dog. Some water, whose mass I sure didn't know, and plugged it in for M, and said, now there you go. Water has this real neat thing that's called specific heat. It's 4.18 joules per gram. Hey, man, man that's really sweet. sweet. It tells you how fast it heats up when someone gives it juice. It's constant, and hey, it's called C, and he's sure to keep it loose. The temperature kept rising from beginning to the end. So I worked out the difference. That's Delta T, my friend. When I plugged the numbers in, I got some happening jewels. I tell you this calorimetry is monkey funky cool. So from now on, when you or me has reason to calculate, just check out this equation. There ain't no need to wait. It said MC Delta T. MC Delta T. MC Delta T. Uh, it's calorimetry, dog. Arr